So, the million dollar question. Do you need to study engineering to be a game developer? Short answer, no. Still here? Let's discuss why. I mean what I say when I say that anybody can be a game developer. It doesn't matter what background you have. It doesn't matter what you have and haven't studied. As long as you keep your focus and study or work hard, you can become a pretty good game developer and have some awesome games under your belt. But what if you already are an engineer? Or maybe you've already enrolled yourself in an engineering degree. Well, don't get me wrong. A degree is a good and a necessary thing in life and it can help open many many doors for you. But if you already are an engineer, let's see how it's going to help you out with game development. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be talking about computer science or computer engineering also known as CSE for short as it's the closest thing to what you want to do. What do you want to do? Develop games of course. Many subjects in the course of CSE can help answer unwarranted questions. For example, we have a subject called Compiler Design or CD for short in which you learn what happens to code after you save it, how it gets converted in a form that is understandable and executable by the processor, how compilers handle errors in your code and we all have errors in the code. A subject called Computer Network or CN introduces you to the mechanics behind most of the common networks that we use every day such as Wi-Fi. It also helps you understand the principles behind other online activities such as playing online multiplayer games such as PUBG or Fortnite or CSGO. Another subject operating systems or OS teaches you how different operating systems differ and how they handle data. This allows you to understand why you can have certain features for your game if you're aiming for the PC market but why you need to restrict those those same features if you're planning for the game to be on Android or iOS. Same thing for microprocessing and interfacing or MPI where you learn the architecture of different processes which is important for you to understand especially if you plan on publishing to the Google Play Store. These are only a handful of subjects of course and I am not saying that you should drop everything and get yourself enrolled in the nearest engineering college or I am not also suggesting that you don't do anything or drop out of college, uh uh, don't do that. All I am suggesting is how having a computer science degree can help make you become a better game developer. Now of course to learn all of these things you don't necessarily need to be a computer science engineer. You can learn all of these things on YouTube and other such platforms. But hold on, what if you took BSc instead? Well, don't you worry. All the work and knowledge that you have in physics translates very well into the game mechanics because most, most of the games have physics which is based on real life. I'm not looking at you just cause just cause is one of my favorite games okay enough about science I took up commerce as a child what can I do well I can't tell you what to do I can only tell you how to do what you want to do and what is it that you want to do develop games of course your understanding of business studies and the market can help you decide what to and what not to include in your game you can even look at the different business models of different studios and try to understand how they make their money or in some cases how they lost their money. With the help of this and analysis of the market, you can make better exec executive decisions for your games. E even having studied psychology can help you because then you'll start understanding why certain people react in a certain way to certain features in a game. And when you're making your own games, you can always try to have uh, features which trigger positive reactions from people rather than having features which trigger negative reactions 
unless it's a very specific part of the story. Having said all of this, you just need to know one thing. This is what I feel about different backgrounds and courses. You may have different experiences, so let's agree to do one thing. Write down in the comments below if you think any differently. Also, let me know if you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it and thank you very much. If you liked the video, you can find more such game talks only on HK Labs on Instagram. Make sure to follow and turn on post notifications if you like my content. I know this video is very late, but what can I do? I mean, exams are like those friends that you have that you don't want to talk to, you want to avoid, but then they call you every once in a while and they force you to hang out with them. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Have a good day or a good night whenever you're watching this.